Hey everyone, it's me. Welcome back to my channel for a new part of The Sims 2 Let's Play Pleasant View Season 2. We're back with the Dreamer family with Lysa Dreamer and her sister, or her brothers and sister, um, Lilith Pleasant, Lilith Dreamer. Uh, it is Sunday morning. As you can see, Lilith is pregnant with baby number five. Um, a lot of you did say, let them have another baby. If that is the want between both Dirk and Lilith, why not have more kids? And Lysa is leaving today, this morning, for university. Um, I can't believe that our baby girl is also heading to university, but it makes sense. She was one of the first children uh, of the next generation because Lilith and Dirk had her extremely young. Um, it makes sense. I mean, Dylan and... Uh, Dylan, Angela, and Dustin's Dylan is actually younger than Lilith's and Dirk's Dylan. He's in like um, sophomore year, whereas um, Dylan uh, Dylan Broke is a freshman. Um, so it totally makes sense. So I'm just like amazed that she is leaving now, and we're actually going to send her off together. She does have. Um, quite a lot of scholarships and actually I can just review accepted scholarships just so we can see She currently has um, the SimCity Scholars Grant, 1,000 simoleons. She has the Visual Arts Stipend for, with, for 750 simoleons. She has the Sang Footwork Award for another 1,000. So her total scholarship value is 2750. Um, she's doing quite well for herself. And um, she can um, start her freshman year um, like pretty strong. So we're gonna go ahead and send her as well. Um, I'm going to miss her so much. She was a sassy little face, but honestly, she is feeling really suffocated in this household. There's so much going on. She needs um, to spread her wings and just go. Um, so I wish her the best of luck, our baby girl, Lysa, heading off to university. This is so bittersweet. Off she goes. Say bye bye, Lysa. Bye, honey. Oh, and our household is just a little smaller. Um, uh, oh my god, I feel so weird. <laughs> I feel so weird. I'm sure Lilith feels strange to having her first child. Um, Fly, fly the coop is the word I was looking for. But we're pregnant with baby number eight. Lysa has officially moved to college. Um, it's fantastic. Liam got into private school yesterday, which is also fantastic. Um, but for now, it's Sunday. The family is going to chill just together. Um, Drama-wise, oh, Dirk went ahead to work. He totally missed Lysa leaving. Dylan is um, is doing well. Um, I actually changed Dylan's uh, personality, kind of a randomizing it, um, but also kind of based on who he is as a person so far. I think he's much more of a nicer sim than his sister, Lysa. Lysa's is honestly like a spitting image and the same personality as uh, Lilith, but I kind of wanted Dylan to be a bit more of a medium between Dirk and Lilith, which kind of puts him in this, like, a bit of an in-between, but he's a lot less active. He is a bit overweight, which is totally fine, but I wanted him to be, like, lazier because he, he, he doesn't really want to work out. Like, yeah, he wants to play catch. He wants to watch a movie, that sort of thing. Um, so we're going to let him do, do him, you know? Um, Liam, on the other hand, is um, extremely outgoing, and um, he's just a cutie pie, honestly. Why is he gyrating? Gyrate, jab. Okay, anyways. Um, I don't think I wrote a bio for him, but if you guys would like to help writing bios for any of the new kids and giving me some ideas for, like, what to put in their bios, that would be 
awesome. I would really appreciate that. So uh, for now, he's just a super outgoing, neat and active guy. Like I totally see him being like the kind that goes out and plays soccer and stuff all the time. Um, I forgot that Lilith is actually really into sports. Um, and so is Liam. Um, well, he's into fitness. So I got this hoop, um, this basketball hoop. And I really would like um, Liam to um, kind of maybe you'd be in more into sports and basketball and soccer and that sort of stuff. So let him do his thing <laughs> and play. And then we have little, um, Destiny. She aged into a toddler just yesterday and she is looking really mighty, uh, good. Though she's fallen asleep and she's going to pee her pants, um, she needs to be put in her crib. If we can, please. Uh, oh my god. Okay, Dylan, no. Let her be. Go take a shower. Oh my god, she's like actually falling asleep. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shoot, turn her aging on. Um, put Destiny in her crib. Come on. There you go. I was like, what is happening with her? Um, her being up on this, uh, like, third floor is a little, like, it's difficult to get to her. Um, difficult to get to anybody. So, um, one thing that, uh, is happening, other than, um, us just trying to live our day-to-day -day lives, um, is Lilith and Dirk heard about Angela and Dustin, and it's, it's rough. Like, they want to be there for their friends um they the four of them were pretty inseparable as teenagers and in university while Angela and Lilith had their issues they were um I'm just following her around the house while they had their their issues they kind of put it aside in university a bit and were in a good place um and then it kind of shifted again when they graduated university um Angela and Lilith they couldn't get past their differences together and um and kind of drifted apart again but they Lilith and Dirk both have a really really strong relationship with Dustin and in this scenario where Dustin and Angela have broken up, they've kind of only heard Dustin's side. And from Dustin's side, um, Lilith knows that um, Angela cheated and is pregnant with another man's child. And to her, that's pretty inexcusable. For someone who constantly harassed her and bullied her and put her down for not leading the um, the perfect cookie cutter life. Um, Angela's a huge hypocrite, like full out. So Lilith is, Lilith is not on her sister's side, I don't think. But at the same time, I think her maternal instincts are kicking in to the fact that, you know, if this was, if her parents were alive, I think that they would have been understanding to Angela and they would have provided her some kind of support. And I think Lilith, now that she has this full family, um, which I want to actually, um, oh, she doesn't have uh, second aspiration points. Um, and he has family, which is good. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Now that Lilith has a huge family and like it's her family is so important to her um she has i think a bit more empathy and a bit more um wants to be there for angela even though angela wasn't really ever there for her if that makes sense it's kind of hard for me to explain this because lilith is like Lilith has her rough exterior, but on the inside, really, she is super empathetic. She feels for people. She knows what it's like, and I think that's why she feels, um, she feels like she can relate so much 
to Angela right now because Lilith has been in this space. She She's made mistakes. People have not liked her for those mistakes. She's had people judge her and ostracize her for the choices she's made in her life and kind of in the end for just being herself. Um, and I think she feels that uh, because of that, she should reach out to Angela because she honestly needed someone to reach out to her when she was in that headspace and no one really did and so because of that she really wants to um show I think it's more she she's projecting because I don't think Angela will take her sister's um support right now um and then Dirk on the other hand he's kind of like in between and like he wants um, he wants to be there for Dustin. So I don't know if we'll invite him over right now. I think Dustin needs a little bit of um, alone time, honestly. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to have, uh, what's his name? Dylan watch. He likes games. And then he likes culture and entertainment. I guess he likes any kind of entertainment. I think I'll have him watch a comedy show, maybe comedy movie, maybe chicken and see how that goes. Uh, Liam should wake up soon. We took a little bit of a nap, which is nice for a Sunday. It's just kind of chills. And then we need to come feed Destiny before she gets taken away from us because that would suck. Um, and Lilith wants to be friends with Socks. Socks just pounced on Liam. I think Socks really, really likes Liam. Um, we're going to give a bottle and Dirk is back. Um, Dirk is also dealing with the fact that his father just passed away and, you know, he's officially an orphan. Like, he inherited his money from his dad, but he just lost both his, like, not just, but he's lost both of his parents, his mom and his dad. And while he has his um, brothers and sister from um, his half brother and sis brothers and sister, um, he started this whole family himself, right? Like he has this whole line of family, and I th like he's gonna be okay. It's not that he's alone. It's just rough that his dad passed, and he does miss him. It was like him and his father were extremely close. They went through a lot. They grew together. They, um, they went through so so much, and now he's gone and he's not going to get to see like this new baby or he's not going to see destiny grow up like he didn't see destiny age into a toddler she he passed away before um before any of that so i think you know it's it's those missing the person seeing you live the rest of your life i know like i feel that for the people that i've lost um that's just how it is but you keep going on day to day. Um, I want to point out that I know that um, both these guys and Angela and Dustin, they say that they're aging up in seven days. I am pausing their aging. You can see that my aging is off. I'm pausing it for a little bit because um, they should have at least... Um, they were teenagers when we started, and if all of our adults just aged up, we should wait um, at least uh, like 20-ish days to uh, turn on their aging again. Um, so I played like kind of a lot off camera, and for the other towns, I haven't. Like I've barely played ahead on the other uh, other ones. Pleasant View is the only one where we're kind of a lot more ahead than where we left off from season one. Um, and I kind of regret doing that because we um, we missed a lot together. There were things that happened that I, I wish were caught on camera as opposed to me just like talking it. But um, just so you know that they're all going to I'm not letting them age for another 20 sim days at least. Um, just so you know. So you're aware. Cool. OK, that's all. Um. So anyways, I am. Um, Drama-wise, this part, I kind of say drama-wise, but, like, it's more that, um, 
I kind of think Lilith wants to reach out to Angela is where I was going with my spiel. Um, I don't want to practice speech. I want to change into my maternity wear, um, especially because we're both pregnant now. And I wish we could throw parties like baby showers and things like that. See, see, like we don't we don't age up. Um, oh. Why didn't she age up or he? Did any of them age up? Oh, my God. OK. Angela is out at work. Oh, my God. Oh, no, sorry. It's not six o'clock. So she aged back eight to eight days. And then when it hits six o'clock, she's going to say seven days again. That's how that works. Um, so we can't talk to Angela right now. She's at work, I think, until 10. Shoot. Um, OK, that's fine. Wait, why is she at work? She's pregnant. She should be on mat leave. Um, we do want to be friends with um, Spunky. I called him Socks, and he's not Socks. He is he is Spunky. Um, but we do want to be friends with him, so I want to have uh, Lilith do that. And we'll toss him in the air and stuff. And there we go. Everyone's aged up. Look at Liam playing with Destiny. That is so freaking sweet. I love this so much. This is so cute. Look at her point at him. Oh my god, I'm dead. They're so sweet. And I think Dylan wants to read to Liam, which is also really sweet. Oh my god, they're all so cute. Okay. Um, let me see if we can get this freaking... Um, win thing going like we need to make a cheesecake right now and we're gonna eat that we want to win a game against john burb of course we do i miss the burbs like they're on vacation so we can't like call them and talk to them i think um they're going to be really shocked that L angela and dustin have divorced um i mean they're trying to be there as much as they can for the twins because um because uh, Daniel Pleasant died so like so while ago, and um, such a while ago, and they want to be like they're the only family that they have. I know you're tired, my dear. Let's just cheat your needs up a little bit. I want you to eat this cheesecake. Yes, serve it. Everyone's gonna eat cheesecake for dinner instead of real food, which I'm fine with. Dustin's not, or Dustin, Dirk is not even hungry, and um, and Liam's going to pass out. He needs to go to bed really, really soon, but it is 8 o'clock, but let me see if we can eat this cheesecake up and see if this affects our pregnancy. If I look on here, pregnancy, Lilith Dreamer. Oh, we can do pregnancy scanner. Number babies, one. God damn it. I agree. I agree. I went. I want you to have twins. I don't understand. Anywho, um, I want. I really do. Did want us to call over Angela and let's see if she's available now. No, she's still at work. So damn it. There goes that. I needed to call her before two p.m. <laughs> if I wanted them to spend time together. But Dylan and Liam are um, chilling, eating cheesecake, all good. Um, Dylan really likes that cheesecake. It's all it's all good and fun and fresh. Um, so we're gonna go ahead get ready for bed. Um, tomorrow's a Monday, and Lilith will be giving birth, I believe. Um, I believe tomorrow. Yeah, she should get her second bump this morning and then she'll give birth um, tomorrow. Um, tomorrow night. Cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got distracted with the I get distracted when you got to take care of them. But um, yeah, I'm going to wrap up this part here. If you guys are enjoying the series, do give this video a fat thumbs up. Subscribe for more as I put them out fairly regularly. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below on the dreamer family here. Um, leave baby name suggestions down below for this baby. We do only have one. So honestly, I just mess up with this whole twin scenario. Um, Maybe I'm too late. I have to do it, I think, before the first bump, and that sucks. Um, yeah, and um, 
you have any suggestions for like bios or like how you think the kids are growing up what you would like to see from the families like let me know all of it because i want to know okay cool i love you guys so so very much i'll see you in my next video bye guys Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall My love if you feel like I do